Hey, youth group. Daniel Simpson here. How's it going? Okay, verse of the day for yesterday was Psalms 3, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, maybe. Okay, so um, I'm going to read it again here from the NIV. O Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you are a shield about me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. To the Lord I cry aloud, and he answers me from his holy hill. There's really only one thing that jumped out uh, to me about this passage for today for us. And I think actually I saw Bob Swanson may have done a longer devotional about this uh, whole psalm, but I haven't watched it yet. Um, I'm going to watch it, Bob. Okay, so Psalms 3, the one thing that I just love about this is is this idea that God is a shield around us. Uh, that's verse 3, but you are a shield around me, O Lord. I just find that very comforting that here's David <clears throat> writing, "How, O Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? And, and, you know, we can take that figuratively. You know, David's really talking about actual people, you know, that are trying to kill him. Or we can be, you know, but we can have other kind of foes, you know, in our lives. We can, you know, there are things that attack us in our own mind. You know, these thoughts that, you know, the enemy puts in there or, um, you know, could be something going on in our life that's dramatic or, you know, anxiety or whatever it is. All, whatever is attacking you. Okay, um, whatever whatever that is, he, you know, David here is crying out. You know, oh God, there's so many things going wrong right now. There's so many people trying to kill me and trying to hurt me. What, you know? And then he says in the next verse, "But you are a shield around me, O oh Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head." So. I guess that's just my encouragement to me. This this is just something that encouraged me the other day. It was this this idea that God is around me. He is protecting me. He is with me, and He is a protect. He's a shield around me. You know, He's the one who who lifts up my head. Okay, so um, I just love that. And I'm not saying that that God protects from everything that goes wrong because that certainly isn't the case. There are there are um, things that happen to people in our life, but. Uh, I think for this time, uh, you know, while we're all kind of trapped inside our houses, for me, I find it comforting that God is a shield around me. Whether that means that he literally is going to protect me from, you know, other things that are happening around, or if he's if he's just going to be a shield around my mind and my heart, you know, uh, against these, um, you know, thoughts that we may be having about, you know, being bummed out about, uh, you know, the lockdown or trapped in, you know, feeling trapped or feeling isolated or alone, that um, God is a shield around us, that he is with us, that he is, he's not going to let those things overwhelm us and overcome us, that he is a shield around our mind and a shield around our hearts and a shield around our, our whole person. Um, and since he is the most powerful being, there is nothing that's going to crack that shield. There's nothing that's going to make it through. There's no, you know, there's no uh, Smash Brothers combo that's going to break the shield. Uh, for those of you that watch, you know, the play Smash Brothers, Noah certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is why I know about those shield breaking combos. But there's nothing that's going to crack, you know, God's shield. He is all powerful. Uh, so find comfort in that. Find some um, rest in that today. That God is your shield, and He's the shield around you, and that um, and there's nothing that's going to penetrate that. Let Him be a shield around your mind and a shield around your heart today, which is probably where we need it the most. I would say um, it's just for God to be a shield around to help us decipher. What is an attack and, um, you know, what isn't? Um, just let the Lord protect you and let the Lord lead you and let the Lord guide you today. All right. Okay. Hope to see you all back soon in the flesh. But for now, um, stay home and stay safe. Okay. Bye.